आए वेलकम टू पहला एप्लीकेशन So from our home page, try to find the force constant of a car, spring car, and then click on the simulator button to start our experiment. First, we will be greeted with a dialog box. This is the aim of the experiment. That is to find the force constant and effective mass of a helical spring using method of oscillations. Close this dialog box to start our experiment. Let's close it. and then we will be greeted with the top info bar which tells us select 10 grams of weight now select the 10 grams of weight from the pop up window we got that will be attached to spring now spring starts oscillating and we can see that stopwatch which is having play start button and then reset button and the spring is also is oscillating so we need to find out we need to count the oscillations like it start either you can take from the bottom or the top from bottom to top so if if you are starting from the top then top to bottom and to top is one oscillations so as soon as you start counting oscillations you start the stopwatch so here i already started stopwatch and then i am already counting it so that uh, i will be counting for almost exactly 20 oscillations and then once i reach the 20 oscillations i will stop the stopwatch let's see when performing the experiment i actually started counting it uh, because you will get bored if i start counting like 1 2 3 4 right so that's why i did not put that in the video but i am uh, i am counting it It is like I started my base point as the top position where it is fully contracted, and then I will wait for it will goes to the end, and then it will come back to the pre initial position. That will be my one single oscillation. Like if I start now, and then go, it is going down, and then it is reaching that point. That is one oscillation. Again, it is going down, and it is reaching that point. That is two oscillation. going down reaching that point it is three oscillations so like that i am starting to count here and i will be wait till i reaches 20 oscillations and as soon as i reach 20 oscillations i need to stop this stopwatch so remember that you need to stop the stopwatch exactly 20 oscillations so now i am in the 20th oscillation it is 19 now 20th oscillation is going on as soon as it reaches that i will stop it right so so that you can measure the accurate values after that you click on that submit observations button and you will be having a dialog box to enter your data the mass we attached is 10 grams in previous step and the time we got is 109.92 after entering click and then again you need to perform the same operations for 10 grams again like for each weight you need to perform same of same observations like counting for 20 oscillations two times so for 10 grams two times 20 grams two times 30 grams two times right now here actually i am uh, uh, speeding up the video to save your time and not let you to let you sleep while watching the video so that's why i am speeding it up and i am counting all the oscillations and as soon as i reach 20 oscillations i will entering that data and then moving to next step let's see when i will stop it yeah 20 oscillation system now i will click on the observation button and for the second time what is the value 110.19 after clicking next i need to select 20 grams again for 20 grams i will be counting for 20 oscillations first time and 20 oscillations for two second time like t1 and t2 i will enter observe all those values and i will enter so let's wait for it until i complete all 20 oscillations 
and as soon as I complete from the oscillations, I entered the details and started again for second iteration. Next one is I am trying for 30 grams. Again the same process, select the 30 grams and from the ideal point whichever you choose start the stopwatch and count for 20 oscillations and enter those values on clicking the observations button and then again count for second time for the same 30 grams. The first time is done. We are going for second time now, and it is almost done. Yeah, so it is almost done. Now I am entering for third time. As soon as you enter for all the observations, we will be greeted with a calculations panel. So that will contain all of our observations till now and some fields to enter the calculated values from our experiment. Let's open the calculation calculator. Sorry. <laughs> the first one is t seconds. Like t1, t2, the average of two observations for the same 10 grams is I got as 110.55 and for 20 grams is 155.55 plus 156.17 divided by 2 plus 2 observations so that will be some value and the time period is whatever the time average time we got divided by 20 why 20 because you remember we measured for 20 oscillations right we measure time for 20 oscillations. That's why we need to divide it by 20. So bear with me. I'm very slow at doing mathematic calculations. They're very funny and very challenging, but at I am very slow. Yeah. Now we got all three time periods and by using all the three masses and three time time period values we need to calculate k1, k2 and k3 the formulas are given on the calculations page. That is 4 pi square into m1 minus m2 by t1 square minus t2 square. So I will be using calculator a lot to find out all these values. The first one I am calculating is K1 value that is K1 corresponding to first two observations like 10 grams and then 20 grams. So I am calculating, it is going to take some time, so bear with me. The value I got is 12.91 and the same way I am going to calculate for K2. K2 is corresponding to 20 gram values and then 30 gram values. This is around 
12.099 and then the last one K3. This is between 30 grams and then 10 grams. The value is 12.95 and we got all the K1, K2, K3 values, right? Now, the final value like is the average of all three values, K1 plus K2 plus K3 by 3 because we have three values. So, that's why K1 plus K2 by 3. The value will be 12.95. So, this is our force constant of the spring. So after you are done, click on the submit button, it will validate all your, val all your values and if all are correct, then it will upload all your values to server and then you will get a congratulations pop-up box. Close this to go to home screen. From the home screen, on the force constant of a spring card, select the download button it will prepare a pdf report for you and then you can use that pdf report to show to your teacher that you did your experiment and these are your values let's wait it will take some time to generate a pdf report from the server and then it will fetch from the cloud now once you are done, you can go to your downloads folder and then you can see all the values. Open it and you can see all the values. It will contain your name and experiment, all the details along with the observations what you got. See, we already got K1, K2, K3 and the final result is 12.95. Thank you.